Today we will learn about the disjoint sets. Let's see how it is stated. It is stated as two sets are disjoint if they have no element in common. Or we can also state it, state it as disjoint sets are those sets whose intersection is an empty set. Let's see its mathematical representation. Let's say A1 and A2 are two sets. And if we apply the conditional disjoint sets on them, then what we have? We have that A, if A1 intersection A2 is equal to an empty set, then the sets are disjoint. You have to keep in mind this condition to check out whether the given sets are disjoint or not. Let's have an example how you can find the disjoint sets. For example, you have set A is equals to and B is equals to. If we take this intersection to find out the um, disjoint sets, whether they are disjoint or not, we will find that 1, 2, 3, 4, intersection 5, 6, 7 and 8. Now, is there any element in common? No, there is no element in common. So, it will be an intersection, it will be an empty set as there is no element in common. So this shows that A and B are disjoint sets as they have no element in common. Let's have one more example. For example, you have a set of, you have a set A this is a set of writing material. Now, what are the writing materials? And one more set that we have, this is a set B. It is a set of vowels. If someone asks you about finding whether the two sets are disjoint or not, then what will be your answer? Your answer will depend on their intersection, even though it is clear that they have nothing in common. If we say A intersection B is equals to empty set as they have nothing in common. So the set we can say we can say here that A and B are disjoint sets. So this is uh, all about the uh, concept of disjoint sets. Let's see how you can uh, uh, represent it on the Venn diagram. We can represent through example. Let's have now we will find their A intersection B that will be empty set and how you can draw it on a Venn diagram you can draw it like this is a universal set and you have two sets like this this is A this is B this is U and your A intersection B is phi and there will be no shaded region as the output is phi so this is how you can represent it on the Venn diagram whatever the sets are